All right, hello y'all, my name is Chris Briggs. Um, thank you for coming, and I'm going to give a quick video on how to clone a rosebush from an existing bush that you may have already, um, and make a couple of new ones. So, first we need to get our materials together. What I have here is I have three little pots. Um, I'm going to try to make three new ones today. Um, this thing here, you don't really need this, but I use it to hold my pots dirty. And a crate. This is like a mini, I'm using this for the mini greenhouse. So this is my base. And um, I'll use this for the top. You'll see later when I get into that. So you can use one of these, or you can use, you know, if you have a greenhouse, or even a Coke bottle. If you're going to do one at a time, you can use a Coke bottle. And I've got my potting soil. This is just regular potting soil. Um, you can get it in a bag. You can get it anywhere. Um, just regular potting soil. Um, I like to get the kind that has some stuff in it for for flowers um, to help it grow and stuff. Um, root tone, and this is the stuff that you will put on the stem once you stick it in the ground. Before you stick it in the ground, this is to help it grow. This is root tone, and you can get a little jar. This will last you forever. You can use this hundreds of times. Um, my shears. Um, and I have some mineral water. It's miracle Grow and water. I just got it mixed up, ready to go. Alright, so first thing we want to do, what I've done is I've gone out and I've cut a branch um, from one of my rose bushes. And <coughs> when you're doing this, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you only have the minimal amount of leaves and buds and things. You want to try not to have any buds on your um, stem when you use the plant because you want all of the available energy that the plant's going to get from the sun and the water to go to growing the root. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. You want it in, say, 6 to 12 inch um, um, length stems. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this into thirds. And you could cut it anywhere, really. And then after I get it cut, what I'm going to want to do is Peel back all but say one of the leaf things. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, pull all these off. Because you want very, very little amount of leaves, because like I said, you want all its energy to go. So just a couple of them, one or two there, that's good. That one's ready. Because if you have too many leaves or any flowers on there, your plant, it, it needs some, you know, it needs one or two to gather the sunlight and get the energy it needs. But if you have too many, the energy will go to supporting those leaves and those flowers and those buds and things to, um, you know, instead of starting the roots. So now we have those. <coughs> so we're going to stick this part of the, the stem into the ground. So um, I'm going to make sure this is a fresh cut because this is where I cut it earlier. Just a fresh cut there. And now what I want to do is I want to take my shears and stick it in the middle of the stem and cut it. I'm going to cut it four times. So you cut it about, say, a, a fingernail's length um, up in there, maybe an inch, a half an inch to an inch, and you just cut it in there, and you're going to cut it into four splices. So it'll be like a little X. Watch out, it can be a little prickly. And you'll do that with each one of them. There we go. Like I said, about a half an inch to an inch. And the thorns, they're all right. They're not drawing any energy. You can leave those on there. Those will be just fine. And so now you've got it split. I don't know if you can really see it, but you've got it split, and it's kind of like a cross like this. Next, we want to make sure we get our dirt. So I just go ahead and just scoop the dirt. We don't want to pack it down in there. We want our dirt to be really loose. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dirt in these pots. Potting soil, excuse me.
and just kind of smooth it off, but you don't want to pack it down. So what I do next to get the dirt ready is you want to take your finger and take the biggest finger you have there and you want to poke a hole. Just poke a hole so you've got a nice opening um, down in the center there because when you stick the plant down into the dirt, you don't want all the root tone to rub off. Um, you want it to stay on there. So I'm just poking a little hole down through there. And now we take our root tone. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're just going to stick it down in there, like so, and just kind of bang it off. You want to leave some on there, but you just stick it down in there like that, and just bang off your excess like that. But you want to make sure it still looks white, like so. And we're just going to stick it down in the hole like that. And then once you've got it in there, just push the dirt in around it. It doesn't need to be too tight. It'll hold. It's not heavy, so it doesn't have to be packed in. You don't want to pack it in. Let's do this other one. Stick it down in there like that. Down in there about an inch. Bang off a little bit of the excess. Down in the pot there. And one more time, I'm going ahead and make three. So I had a couple of big branches that I wanted to cut off. Down in there. All right, so now we got it down in the dirt. Um, like I said, this is a pretty simple process. It only takes a few minutes once you get your materials together. I'm going to take a little bit of water. A little bit, I don't want it too wet. Pour some of the mineral water on there. And I just use regular Miracle Grow. Um, but you can use whatever kind you like, name brand, it doesn't really matter. And the reason we have this little grow box, what um when I just use this little crate, like I said, is because you don't want the sun, you don't want <coughs> excuse me, you don't want too much beating down on it. So you want it to be able to retain its moisture. So, you know, you don't want it to get dry and then re-wet and then dry and then re-wet. So with this little thing, it'll retain the moisture and it's kind of like a mini greenhouse. So then now what I'm doing is I just take a little thing, cover it up like so, snap it in place, and there we have it. You can see it from the side. I got my three little plants going to grow. Now what I'm going to want to do is every two or three days, um, three, three, four days, I'm going to come out here and just unsnap and look at it and just make sure it's a little moist. You don't want it to be too wet, like I said, and you don't want it to be too dry. Um, and you can just snap it off and just pop it out like that and look at it, check it. So it looks good, looks good, and then just put it back on there. And this will keep the moisture inside. I would put it in a normal sunny spot, like where you grow your roses. Um, that'll be fine. Um, you want the, the sunlight to be four hours or so, four or more hours. Um, not too hot, four to six hours. Um, and then there you have it. It's going to take about five to six weeks for them to root really well. Um, you can check them after a couple weeks, check them, and just kind of grab it and pull on it a little bit. And um, if it's not coming, you know, if it feels like it's grabbed, then you're good. But I try to leave them in the whole growing process in the box for five to six weeks to make sure they root up really good. And then um, if I want to move them to a larger pot because they're branching out, then um, I can do that or just move them straight into the ground. All right, so thank you very much for coming, and um, I hope that you have learned how to clone a rose bush from one of your existing rose bushes. Thank you. Thanks.